Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the missing value in the following flow diagram. In the fourth diagram, we have what we call the input value. We have the rule acting on the input and then we have the output value. In order to get the output, the output is being determined by what you put in as input and the rule acting on that input. In this example, let's start with the first input, which is 1. 1 is going in and the rule says to multiply by 6. So we have 1 times 6 will give you the output of 6. In the second example, we have 2 going in and the rule says multiply by 6. So we have 2 times 6, which is 12, that will give you the output of 12. Now, when you get to the third example, we have 3 going in, as shown. I'm going to draw my line. That's my input. I'm multiplying by 6. And then my output will be 3 times 6, which is 18. Now, you can see we have a missing value in the third input. To find the value of this missing input, we're going to do what we call the inverse rule. Now, the rule is multiplication, as shown. The inverse of multiplication is division. So, therefore, if I'm going backwards, I'm starting with 24. 24 will now be my new input because I'm working backwards. So I have 24 going in, and then the inverse function, that will be divided by 6. So the inverse will be, I'm going to put the division, I have divided by 6. And 24 divided by 6 will give you 4, so therefore... My original input will be 4. And if you check, 4 times 6 is equal to 24. The next one, we have a 5 going in as input. The rule says multiply by 6. So we have 5 times 6 will give you the output of 30 as shown. Note that the next input is also blank so therefore we're going to use our inverse rule which states that the inverse of multiplication is division so if I'm coming in from 36 I have 36 divided by 6 and then my output will be 6 because 36 divided by 6 is 6 and for my last input I have 7 going in, as shown, times 6. The output will be 7 times 6, that's 42. Thanks for watching. Bye.